Hello, this is Wade Harvey. Uh, welcome to uh, tutorial part one, uh, installing Visual Web Developer 2005 Express. Uh, we're going to cover four topics in this uh, brief tutorial. First, we're going to use Google to find where to download Visual uh, Web Developer. Then we'll download the file, we'll install it, and then we'll start the Visual Web Developer. Uh, I highly recommend Visual Web Developer. It makes uh, 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 building websites a lot easier because you can copy the files uh, right to your website within the uh, integrated development environment. It's a very nice uh, uh, tool. Thanks. Okay, I like to go to Google to uh, find where to download Visual Web Developer. You're downloading it from Microsoft Development uh, Network MSDN, but uh, that uh, location frequently changes, so I like to find it through searching on this uh, Download Visual Web Developer 2005 on Google. When you do that, you get a listing, and you're searching for one that says Download. You'll eventually find it by clicking on any of these, uh, because they all point to MSDN eventually. This one here that says download has it right there on the page. So we go there. And this is Microsoft Express Editions. There's uh, With uh, Visual Web Developer, you're working in Visual Basic Language. And uh, you also get C Sharp. You have other languages, uh, uh, Express languages available. Express just means it's totally free, no. Uh, strings attached. You select your language and then you uh, download the file. Um, with the Visual Studio itself, if you buy that, uh, then you get all these express languages or all the languages supported by Visual uh, Studio all in one. But uh, So I'm opening up the file after I downloaded it. This is set, doing the setup, but uh, with Visual Studio you get all, all the languages, and with the Express editions you do have to do one at a time. But uh, they're v well worth the the free uh, product. So I'm going to pause now while this uh, finishes the setup here. Okay, I finally reached the setup uh, window. Uh, took about a minute or two. Then we click yes uh, if you want to send uh, your experiences to Microsoft. And you click I accept the terms. And then it's going to install it here in Visual Studio 8. And you're downloading this product. It looks good. And it's going to take uh, 405 uh, meg. The download size is just 40 meg. Not sure whether it's a big difference. And then we start the download and install. And I'll pause it while this goes on. Okay, it completed. The reason why uh, it was 40 meg versus uh, 405 meg is the, we're downloading a, a zip file and it expands it to 405. So it says. Um, you must register your software within 30 days. So you click here to register now. That'll give you a, a code that you'll paste in under help or register. So I'll do that now and pause it while I do it. Okay, so now I have the code and uh, I can click on exit. The next thing we'll do is uh, start Visual Web Developer. This just cancels out. I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, so now to start Visual Web Developer, we go to Start, click on All Programs, and then over here at the bottom, uh, most recently installed, you got a little world inside of a green screen, Microsoft Visual Web Developer. Click on that. It'll start up. This is your integrated uh, development environment. This is your designer screen. 
Add Vanner Window, Solution Explorer, Toolbox, and you'll see your errors come out here. But, uh, to start a new project, you just click on File, and you can click on New Website or New Project, uh, New File. It's a new file. I, if they okay, let's look at uh, new website. New file is uh, if it hasn't already been built, uh, and you're just trying to get it off your hard drive. Uh, new website is for when you have a website that's already been built in the. It's usually in the IIS. Uh, Internet Information Services uh, web server. So uh, now I've clicked on uh, File New Website to see what we have here. This is uh, all that's needed to install and get uh, Visual Web Developer running. These are some of the sites that I've already built. This is what I was looking for. Here's your starter kit, a personal website starter kit. Uh, that was under a new website. And then uh, these are some that I've already downloaded uh, by searching online templates for starter kits. We'll get into that in another tutorial. Thanks for watching.